men's volleyball star, Michael Beard. And Michael, thank you very much for joining us here on the Athletics Roadshow. Welcome thank to the you. program. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, first and foremost, uh, season's off to a great start for y'all. You're 12 and two overall. You're just playing really well as a team. You've had some really good early uh, season victories. Uh, how has it gone from your perspective? I mean, it's been awesome so far, really. I mean, just to see the growth that we've had as a program over the last three years, you know, starting off a little rough in the COVID year, hard to really <laughs> do too much with that. Um, coming back last year, we played a lot of good teams at the start of the year. You know, didn't really go the way that we wanted to at the beginning of the year. But then having the experience against those good teams last year, coming in this year, you know, bring in a great freshman class. Everybody has the experience from last year. Just off to a great start and hoping to keep it going. I mean, going back a few weeks to the BW Invitational, uh, the Yellow Jackets had a good run, and then they got to – a, a play a Loris team that when they walked into the gym they looked like they were a bunch of football linebackers I mean these they were some large dudes coming out of the door or coming through the door and it's like oh how is this going to go and you guys responded so well took the first two sets then won the match in four I mean how exciting was that experience to protect your home court and go 4-0 in the Invitational I mean that was really probably the highlight of my entire volleyball career. I mean, even going back to high school, we won we won some big games back in high school, but to be able to win the first, I would say, like, statement win as a program at home in front of all the fans and in the way that we did it against the team that we did it, I mean, there really wasn't too many people that thought that we were going to win that game, but we believed in ourselves. Coach Mars gave us a great game plan, and we went out there and executed and showed what we can do. Yeah, how much strategy goes into game planning? I mean, I'll, I don't think people really have an appreciation for what the work that you put in off the court to ready yourself for, for match day. Yeah, so, I mean, it's we, it was tough to game plan really just for Loris for that game because, you know, we had played three games earlier that day and the day before. Mm -hmm. So it was more just uh, – it was probably about two hours before the game started. Coach Mars brought us into a classroom, gave us a scouting report, said, okay, this is what we can exploit, uh, and then this is what we need to do on our own side to be successful. And, I mean, we just went out and executed the game plan really to a T. I mean, we served exactly who we wanted to. We ran the offense how we wanted to. We blocked how we wanted to. Served extremely aggressively, and that was really probably what won us the match. Well. Congratulations are in order for Michael Beard as well because last week you were named the American Volleyball Coaches Association National Player of the Week and you're the first ever VW men's volleyball player that can claim that honor. Congratulations to you. How did it feel to be recognized on a national scale for what you've been able to accomplish? I mean, I think it just validates all the hard work that myself and the team have put in over the past couple of years. I mean, there's, I mean, I could have, name every single person that is responsible for that I mean coach Mars coming in every day making us better everybody on the team really just top to bottom Mars says it all the time you know one through 17 got to produce at a great level and without them you know pushing myself and each other every day in practice and you know performing in games too I mean that doesn't happen without everybody else. Yeah, we talked to Coach Toddy and, and Coach Krecky earlier in the program about building up programs. You know a little bit about being in the uh, in a program at the ground level. Yeah. You and get players like Nick Ireland came in, and it was right in the middle of the COVID pandemic, so you were already limited in terms of what you could do, and it was your first year together uh, as a team and first year in the program. What was that experience like, and how have you been able to grow this program uh, since that less than ideal starting point? <laughs> yeah, so it was it was just really tough coming in there because it was like, you know, you want to hang out with these guys. You want to get to know them both as people and on the court as well, and it was just so difficult to do that with all the rules that were in place. You know, we were all living in dorms because we were first-year students, so we were only able to have four people in a room maximum at a time so it was really hard to 
you know, get to know people Team on a personal mommy. level. Yeah. And then when we went into practice, I think it was six people maximum in the fall before the season started. So we didn't have any full team reps until I think it was like maybe the week before we left for winter break. So it was just really tough building the, the chemistry early. But then being able to build that, you know, we have the core of uh, six guys from our class, adding all the sophomores last year, being able to build the chemistry with them from the start, and then adding, like I said, a really great group of freshmen this year. It's just, it's been really nice to see just like how well we've gelled as a team. And I think a lot of that is just because like, we enjoy being with each other, like off the court. It's so much easier to, you know, want to perform well and play for the guy next to you when you care about them and more than just like winning a game. What was it about BW that sold you on taking a chance and being a part of a first year program? Well, for me, I would say it was just like, since where I came from, I came from a club that was well established. It was probably the best club in central Ohio. And my high school team was well established too. We were one of the name brands, I guess you would say, like in high school volleyball. So I just wanted, I kind of wanted the challenge of being able to see like what kind of impact I could have on building a program because I had never, I never really like made a name for myself, I would say in high school. I was just kind of like a product of everything that was around me. So I wanted to see what I could do in some place that was not established yet. Yeah, so you wanted to leave a trail rather than follow a path. Yeah. Nice. Well, I've been successful so far, I would say. You've had quite the career here at BW, but you played other sports in high school. You were a golfer, and I believe you were on the bowling team as well. That is correct, uh, yes. What made you decide that volleyball was going to be your sport at the collegiate level? I think it was just the passion for it. I mean, it was something I didn't start playing until my freshman year of high school. I actually was a baseball player okay. before that, so that helps with the arm swing a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I had played baseball until my freshman year, and uh, I never really thought that volleyball was even going to be a thing. And then uh, I went to some girls' volleyball games. My girlfriend was on the, the high school team, and uh, – started getting into it some of the seniors got me to come to some open gyms and then the rest is history from there but I think just like I loved golf and bowling they were you know extremely fun sports and sports that I enjoyed because they're something that you can play for a long time yep. but I think the fast paceness and the more team nature of volleyball was something that I enjoyed more as much as I love going out and you know playing around a golf it's just like it's so much more time consuming and you don't really like I don't know I want to feel accomplished after a game <laughs> so like that that's part of what drew me to volleyball was knowing that I would have to physically work harder to achieve what I wanted so off the court you're an accounting major um, what attracted you to that uh, discipline and what are you hoping to do with it after college so kind of the same thing with volleyball I really had no intention of being an accounting major I was going into my senior year of high school and I had no idea what I <laughs> wanted to do I knew that I wanted to do something probably that involved you know money or business but uh, fall of my senior year I took an accounting class with my volleyball coach <laughs> and I just fell in love with it it was like he was a great teacher and I understood what was going on and I was like you know this is something that I want to do my plan is to get a uh, CPA and just see where that can take me maybe start my own business one day too that'd, that'd be, be awesome an online business ideally in like well if not accounting I would like to do some kind of like online marketing stuff too very cool uh, going back to volleyball you do a little bit of everything on the court you're you're not just a, a great outside hitter but you you drop back you play some defense as well I mean how long did it take you to become a well-rounded player that could get kills digs service aces and assists I mean you do a little bit of everything for the yellow jackets uh, probably this year really <laughs> I mean offense has never really been that much of a struggle for me just because like I had also played basketball before so that kind of helped with 
the approach and the fluidity of being an athlete. And then, like I said, with baseball, the arm swing helped with that. And then, but like, I had no idea how to play defense. I had no idea how to serve or serve receive. So just a lot of reps through high school and especially now at college, I got guys that really challenge me every day. And, you know, Coach Mars, of course, is challenging all of us to get better. So that's you're still getting, a work in progress too, so. As a team, you're getting set for a crazy month of March. I mean, you've got a lot of time on the road. Oh yeah. Uh, in fact, I don't know that you have uh, more than maybe one or two matches at home in March. Um, how will that test this team that's had such a great run uh, to this point in the season? And can that help be a team chemistry builder, having to spend that much time on the road? Absolutely. So that's that's the one thing that has been really fun so far this year is the road trips. I mean, obviously, it's great to be home, play in front of your fans, and have, like, the comfort of playing in your own arena. But road trips are just so much fun. You spend so much time with each other on the bus rides, the conversations that you have, the games that you play with each other. And it's just it's great to hang out with everybody. There's no doubt in my mind that road trips are, like, how we've bonded. Yep. Like, that was, in fact, freshman year, our best bonding experience was our first road trip when we went to Trine, and our bus broke down when we were there. <laughs> so we just spent four hours sitting in their gym just talking to each other, and that was really the first time that our whole team had, like, Gotten to been do together. That. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, it was great to have Coach Mars there and Coach Jason when he was still there just sitting there and just talking about you know the game and whatever else in life it was it was a good time did you know some of your teammates though from playing club and also co maybe competing against them in high school yeah so I know Peyton Reed our libero he was in my class he went to Penn State Altoona his first year of college and then transferred in last year so it was good to have him back uh, Josh Hutchinson Hutchinson also went to my high school, he was two years younger than me. Um, who else? Colby Whiteside, he went to another school that was in our, like, central Ohio. So I played against him. Uh, Carson Junker, I never played against him, but I, you know, knew, knew of, of him. him. Yep. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody else that I'm forgetting, too. I apologize for no, that. No, that's all right. You're the one that's going to have to answer for it at practice tomorrow because yeah. they're all watching it right now. I can see it behind oh, you. <laughs> also, Nick Ireland <laughs> Nick. was the other one. Yeah, my roommate. He was on my club team my first year of club. So That's cool. Yeah. Um, so what are your personal goals and team goals for the rest of the season? I mean, you want to obviously continue that hot start, but how do you go about doing it? Well, I think team goals take precedent over everything. Obviously, we're trying to win – conference championship this year I think that that's a reasonable goal for us we've shown that we can play with the big boys as far as personal goals just keep up what I'm doing really I mean I think obviously there's room for improvement and I would like to improve efficiency numbers you know passing is something that you can always be better at playing better defense getting better block touches and just swinging more efficiently like I get blocked a lot more than I would like to. <laughs> so still working on that. But, I mean, I think just being able to keep the level of play that I'm at right now and improving by even just a little bit will go a long way. Well, Michael, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. We greatly appreciate it. Best of luck the rest of the way, especially uh, on Saturday when you've got uh, two more matches coming into the Ersprung Gymnasium. Uh, hopefully it's two more wins for the Yellow Jackets. I hope so. All right, that's Michael Beard, star volleyball player here at Baldwin Wallace University. The men's volleyball team off to a 12-2 and two start, and they are on quite the roll.